What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. And for today's for for and Sorry guys, I can't speak. Anyway, anyway, for today's Yu-Gi-Oh news video, we have some new Teller Knight and Constellar support. We have new Tell Teller Knight slash Constellar support. As well as, well, the fact that, well, the the Rarity Collection Quarter Century Edition has even more reprints. Well, the question is, what are those reprints? What kind of what kind of teller cards are gonna be in, in this video? Well, I never, well, here, well, here's the thing, guys. I never thought in my wildest dreams that we would ever get Teller Knights, get new support. We, I never, I never thought that Teller Knights would get new support. Um, after so many years, after so many years, because I know that, that, that Constellers, was it Constellers? Yeah, they um, they dom they dominated they dominated the meta in, in the what was known as the triangle format, which featured Cleford, Constellers, and Shadals. Back right around the time that Duels the Lions came out, and once I think I think once once Necros came into the format. You know, card, you know, you know, you know, decks like Burning Abyss and and Necros, Constellers just kind of just dying, just went down. It died, it died down, and it just wasn't good, good anymore. So I'm very curious, but I'm also excited about 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 these new cards. Hopefully, uh, hopefully these cards will actually change change up the meta but before we get into the video if if you guys are new to the channel and you guys want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh news videos in the future which get posted every Tuesday and sometimes on weekends make sure you guys smash smash that thumbs up button I know I know I got like cat paws right now on my jacket sleeves and my hand my hands are dry I need to put 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 lotion on them, but I can't because after I'm done with this video, I got some other business. I got some other things to deal. But, but, but anyway, as as I was saying, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new, again, if, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell because, as I've said in previous videos. There we go. If the channel... Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on. As I've said in previous videos, if the channel gets to 200 subs, which we are 59 subs away from making that happen, I will open up my Korean Strike of Neos box in its entirety. I know it's not... I know that Korean versions are not the most popular, but truth be told, uh, this was this was actually a, pre a pretty this was pretty cheap to get. It was only like what twenty, maybe thirty bucks. So it wasn't too shabby. It, it wasn't too shabby. But again, if the channel gets to two hundred subs, I will open this up in its entirety on the channel. And someone someone just randomly called. Don't know it. Don't care who it is. Anyway, however, if however, if we reach the if we if we reach four, the four numbers one thousand. Guess what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna open up this this Toon Chaos box on the channel in its entirety. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys, so if you guys want to see me open up both of these boxes, make sure you make sure you guys subscribe, guys. Subscribe and don't miss out. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be lit. I'm pretty sure that uh, the polls are going to be pretty fire. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. 
turn on the notification bell. And also, too, guys, follow me. Follow me on all my social media. Links will be in the description, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. So let's get straight into it, guys. Kicking things off. We have we have Teller Knight Lyra, which is a four-star light warrior with 1,200 attacks, 1,600 defense, and 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 it says that this card is always treated as a constellar card. And and it says that both of its effects are once per turn. And the first effect reads: If a Teller Knight and or constellar monster other than this card is normal summon to your field, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is summoned, you can add one Teller Knight spell from your deck to your hand. So it's basically all it is, it's it's Cyber Dragon Spell Trap Rota. That's all it is. That's actually a it's it, it's a nice little it's it's a nice little combo combo extender to help go into some of your rank four plays. Um, in also too, also too, it can also um, also too if you have if you have one of the monsters, I think oh, which one is it? Oh, what's what's the one that that can turn monsters into level five? What was it the cost? I, I I think I think it's the cost. I I could be wrong. I I could be wrong. If I am wrong, let me know. Let me know in the comments. But um. But I think I think if you activated cost, if you activated cost's effect to to special summon itself. You can you can then special sum you can then special summon Lyra to your board, and then use Lyra's effect chain as 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 chain as chain link one cost effect chain link two, which means both both cost and Lyra would become would become would become level five, and then you can add add any any Teller Knight. Spell from your from from your deck to your hand, and then just overlay Lyra and Cost to go into a rank five play, which I think which you can go into um, into Constellar Pleiades, and then and then directly into Ptolemy M seven, which is actually a nice little play. It it it's a weird play. It, it's a weird gimmicky play, but it's not bad. It's not too bad. Next up, we've got Teller Knight Altea, which is. Which is a four-star light warrior, seventeen hundred attack, thirteen hundred defense. This card is always treated as a constellar card. The second effect is a once per turn. And the first effect reads: If if this card is summoned, you can target cards on, on on the field up to the number of light and dark exceeds monster control. Destroy them. Okay then. Um. Yeah, I think it's pretty safe to say that this card might just be might just be the new combo starter because this card is nuts. It's a nice little uh it's, it's kind of it's 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 kind of like a mini Raigeki mini mini Harpy's Feather Duster of sorts, so it's not not too bad. Second effect reads: If a Teller Knight and or Constellar monster monster other than this card is special summoned to your field, you can special summon this card from your graveyard, and you cannot declare attacks. You cannot declare an attack for the rest of the turn except with Exceeds monsters. Um, and there's a note under the underneath that says, "Near as I can tell, this is just another spelling of Altair." All right, whatever. But if you guys are, but for those who are new to the channel and are new to playing playing Yu-Gi-Oh, the theme of the cons of the Teller Knight of, of the Teller Knight Constellar uh, archetype is basically basically the con the 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 constellations in in the night sky, basically, which is pretty pretty. Which is actually kind of pretty unique, I, I I have to admit. But yeah, this is basically your this is bas sort of like your combo starter, if you will. And that's actually not too bad. That's actually not not too bad at all. I'm not I'm I'm not gonna talk talk about the Constellers all that much because 
I never really worked worked with them, but still, that's actually a pretty nice, pretty cool card. Next up, we have we have Telonite Constellar Caduceus. Cad. Do. Cad Caduceus. I probably butchered that one. I don't know how to pronounce that one. Um. But it's a rank 4 light spellcaster exceeds with 2500 attack and get this 1650 defense. Yeah, yeah, you gotta love those 50s in, in Yu Gi Oh, huh? Tis, tis, tisk. And it, and, and, it, and it requires two or more level 4 monsters. So somewhat generic, but really not. Um, both of its effects are, are once per turn, and the first effect reads: "If reads if this card is exceed summoned, you can target one Teller Knight card and or one Constella card in your grave. Add them to your hand." Okay, all right, that's that's actually pretty cool. Um, that's that's actually pretty cool. Being able to get back your com your combo extenders and to go into more of your rank four plays, your rank five plays, and whatnot. That's actually a really that this card right here is a is a really great way to ensure that that you end that they end your board with with cards car, cards on the board. You know, on board. You know, like Appaloosa. Um, you know, you know, and you know, and even also Zeus as well. So that's actually pretty, pretty cool. Uh, the second effect reads: You can banish one Teller Knight or Kinsella monster from your hand or deck, then detach one material from this card. This effect becomes that banished monster's activated effect when that monster is normal summoned. Oh, it. I. Mm, I don't get that one. I gotta hold on, hold on, guys. I gotta read that one again. Banish one Teller Knight or Cancel a monster from your hand or deck, then detach a material from his card. This effect becomes the banish that banished monster's activated effect when that monster is normal summoned. So I'm assuming if so, what? I'm assuming it means that. That when you banish one of the Teller Knight or or Constellar m monsters, and once you've detached one of Caduceus's material, I guess the monster has to be normal summon. I guess I think I I, I think that's how it's supposed to be. That's that's a really weird one. That's a weird one, but I mean, I mean, still, I mean, still, still, with that first effect, it's a great way to to re-extend into more, more, more of your Xyz plays just off of that one effect alone, which is pretty cool. Um, and now for the for the, for the last card that's gonna be in that's in this video for for the new support. We have Teller Knight Constellar, which is a continuous spell, and it has two separate effects, and the which the second effect is a once per turn. Uh, the first effect reads: When this card resolves, you can spell summon one Teller Knight or Constellar monster from your hand or grave. It's a Cyber Rev system. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's a Cyber Rev system. Not going to say much about it, except that it's a it, it's a great way to. Extend into again, just like with with the Xyz monster, it's a great way to extend into um, into your Pleiades and then into your Ptolemy M7, or 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 it's a great way to go into your Cyber Cyber Dragon Nova into Cyber Dragon Infinity, which is actually pretty decent. I I I must admit. Um. Second effect, the second effect reads, you can target one Teller Knight or Constellar Xyz monster control, special summon from your extra deck, a Teller Knight or Constellar Xyz monster with a different rank 
from that monster you control by using it as material. Oh. Oh. Okay. So basically, this is a great way to summon Zeus right off the bat. That's actually not too bad. That's pretty much it. Um, all in all, all, all in all, the the new cards are are not too bad. I think, in my opinion, the effects could have could have been better. Um, but still, that's actually not not too bad. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. But now we gotta talk about. The reprints that are that will now be in the Rarity Collection Quarter Century Edition. If you guys don't know about about this set, I talked about what it what it what the set will look like. Basically, this set will feature will feature a will feature holographic rares, which is their version, which is the OCG's version of the TCG's Ghost Rare. Uh, the quarter century secret rare, which apparently is supposed to, um, which I guess is, is supposed to replace the s the prismatic secret rares that are in that are in the OCG, which is basically the equivalent of our starlight rares, if you will. Um, we have the extra secret rare, which I think is the which I think is the platinum secret rares that we got that we got in the 2015 and the, and in the 20. 14 tins, if I remember correctly, because I know the 2015 tins featured. Um, I actually, I actually have them over there somewhere. Um, uh, the the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon and the Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon, and then the 2013, the 2014 tins I think featured um, Bujin Susanoo and something else. I don't remember. Uh, but still, but but still, that that's pretty cool. Um. Ultimate rares, ultra rares, super rares, seeker rares, and collector's rares. So that's basically what you can expect in the set as far as the rarities go. But the reprints that will be in the set, we have Egyptian God Slime, which is a which is a really good good reprint. Uh, junk Junk Speeder, Baron de Fleur, Odd Eyes Flare, Metal Dragon, Number One Hundred, Numeron Dragon, Striker Dragon. Magician's, Magician's Salvation, Ice Barrier, and Harpy's Feather Storm. Each of these are, each of these reprints are actually pretty good because, because with Egyptian God Slime, it just help, it can help you go into, into any of the three Egyptian God cards, which is pretty nice. Junk Speeder is basically a, is basically a board, a board spam where, where you spam your board with, 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 with a bunch of tuners, and it can just extend, extend into your end board, which can consist of, of Geo Mathmac Final Sigma, um, as well as uh, cards like uh, uh, Stardust Dragon and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Although because of the fact that we got the new Assault Synchron Tuner Monster, I'm gonna have to do an update on on the Stardust deck. So you guys might want to be prepared for that one. Um, uh, Baron is just a just an in a insanely broken Omni Omni negate, which is awesome. Flare Metal Dragon is nice. New, uh, no, uh, number one hundred. I think it only got one reprint, so this will so this is a nice an, 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 a nice uh, reprint to have. Striker Dragon. <sighs> Dragon links are pretty much just done. They're 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 just done with. You know, without the Guard Dragon links, the deck is just done. There's no way the deck will ever be meta again. Uh, Magician Salvation, kind of an odd one, but still is pretty cool. Ice Barrier, I don't think I ever talked about that card on the channel. I could be wrong, but I'm gonna check it out on Nexus. Give me a second, guys. Give me one second. Now let's go to deck, pick a random one, um, Arcane and I. Oh, by, oh, by the way guys, I actually, by the way guys, Harpies will not be the only deck I will update. I'm, there are so many other decks I'm going to update, and my Arcana, and my Arcana one is going to be one of those, so make sure you guys get ready for that one. 
Um, ice barrier. Here we are. Here we are. Uh, which it's a normal trap, and it reads when it when it when an attack is declared involving your opponent's monster, change an opponent's monster's attack to zero, negate its effects, and it cannot change its battle position, and and it cannot change its battle position. You can banish this card from your grave, send a level five or higher water monster from your from your deck to the grave. Then you can add a water monster from your from your graveyard to your hand. And for the rest of the turn, after this effect resolves, you cannot supposed to. Special summon monsters, except water monsters. You can only use this effect once per turn. Okay, so it's ba so basically, ice barrier is um, it's basically, it's basically um, imperm. It's, I I would say Imperm, but it's basically Fiendish Chain, um, Foolish Burial, Monster Monster Reincarnation, and um, and it locks your up uh, and, and it locks you only into Water Monsters, all rolled into one card. Basically, that's actually pretty pretty insane. I I have to admit, um, but still, Ice Barrier, pretty pretty. Pretty deep, pretty decent reprint in, in my opinion. Uh, pretty nice though. And then Harvey's Fe uh, Harvey's Fe uh, Feather Storm. It's it it's a house. It's basically Dark Ruler no more, but for but for Harpies, not gonna say much about it. But honestly, the reprints pretty nice. Could have could have had better ones, but I'm I'm not so sure if uh, if we are gonna get any other. Reprint in the set, but I will definitely talk about them on on the channel if we do get them But that brings me to to the question of the day, which is this Which is this do you believe do you guys do you believe? That that the that the constellar deck will be meta once again With the new support let me know down in the comments below and that will do it for today's video Hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more Yu-Gi-Oh! news videos in the future, which get posted every Tuesday and sometimes on weekends, make sure you guys, make sure you guys, again, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, follow me on all my social media, links will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail, it will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.